So these right here are the TicPod 2 Pros and they look exactly similar to the AirPods and the AirPods 2, not the Pros. And that's really what caught my eye and why I picked these guys up. Personally, I like earbuds that go and just sit in your ear and not ones that go in your ear. Regardless whether it's comply tip or foam tip or silicone tip, I just don't like earbuds that'll go inside your ear. So when these had similar designs to the AirPods, I picked them up because I'm like, they could be good. And they go for about $125 on sale with 10% off. Normally it's like 139. And then the non-pro version go for like 99. And then now there's a sale for 89.99. I'll have those links down below in the description. But after using them for about a week, it's hard for me to recommend these. And I'll get into exactly why, but for now, let's just start talking about the design and the specs. So when it comes to design, they are very similar to the AirPods. Like I said, not the Pros, the regular AirPods. But you could tell that they feel a little bit cheaper. Like I think the material that they're made out of compared to the AirPods is just not as good a feeling or a premium in the hands. Um, the lead feels very flimsy and that it doesn't, it's going to break very easily. And then the actual AirPods or the actual tick pods feel um, shallow. There's no density to them. It feels like it's cheap plastic, but over Overall design it's similar to the AirPods and then I like the form factor that they're very very small in terms of the case so that means it can fit almost anywhere you want to throw it and you're not even gonna feel like you're carrying it and I just love the size of it but in terms of design I wish they were just built a little bit more premium than they currently are now the case magnetically pulls the AirPods in, but at the same time it works in either side. So sometimes you'll put it in the wrong way and it seems like it pulled in by the magnets and it fit, and then but you can't close the lid and then you realize that they need to go back in the opposite sides. So I like the fact that there are magnets that pull in the actual tick pods, but it fits on both sides, which sometimes can get mixed up and confusing. And then the case gets charged by USB-C on the back. There are two LED lights in the front, and I'm assuming each one refers to which side that is being charged, the left or the right. But the weird thing about this case is in the USB-C is that it doesn't charge from USB-C to USB-C cables, which I thought was weird because I would just plug it into the charging cable that my phone uses but that didn't work. Like you have to go from a USB-A to a USB-C cable, just like the one that's provided in the box with it. But I just think that's something that they could have, you know, the technology, they could have put that in there so that it's easier since everything is moving to his USB-C and now I don't have to carry a wall adapter that's USB-A just for these guys. So overall, the design is really nice. It's just not as premium as I would expect them or I would have liked them to be. Now, real quick, let's go over the specs. So these guys are running a Qualcomm chip. We are talking about the QCC 5121. They have Bluetooth 5.0. They have a dual mic noise cancellation, which actually works really well from my time of using it. They have accelerometer and a gyroscope in there so that you can do gestures with your head. It's IPX4 water resistant. You got four hours of battery life in each earbud and then the actual case can hold up to 20 hours of battery life. They do have quick charge and that means uh, five minutes of charging gets you one hour of usage which is fantastic and then like I said the price is $99 for the regular ones and then $139.99 for the ones that are the pros which are the ones that I have with me and those prices tend to go down here and there so keep an eye out for the link down below in the description. So when you hear that list of specs and you see the price then you're probably thinking these have got to be fantastic but it's not all roses so when you start listening to them and you just go through the sound quality and the user experience that's where things sort of fall apart now in terms of comfort like I said earlier they fit just like the airpods so I'm comfortable with it it's like a one size fits all there's no tips that come with it so if airpods fit in your ear then these are gonna fit perfectly fine with your ear I didn't have any issues in terms of them falling out of my ear now when it comes to the actual sound though they were inferior to the AirPods. Like if the AirPods were a nine or a 10, then I would definitely give these guys a six and a half to seven. And it's just like an overall sound. It's not as rich or as full of a sound as the AirPods go. It just feels like it's missing something as if like you had a couple of layers of diffusion between you and the sound. That's like the best way that I can describe it. Now I did test them with my Galaxy Note 10 Plus and they work 
work phenomenon. I even tested out the gestures where you can nod your head up and down to answer calls or bob your head side to side to, to reject calls and everything works. Now there is an app that comes or that you can download from the Google Play Store, but the app, it's not anything fantastic. All you can do is turn on gestures, turn off gestures and little basic stuff and things like that. And I really think they could have done more with the app so that maybe we could just customize the sound a little bit better. So that's how it is in terms of the phone. And then I went ahead and tested out on my MacBook Pro, the 16 inch that just came out a couple of months ago. And this is where things really fell apart. So in terms of watching YouTube, there was a lag and the lag was not all the time. Like uh, after listening to like multiple sessions, three, four, five different sessions where I would actually disconnect the uh, tick pod and then go somewhere else and open up my MacBook to play it again, I say about 50% of the time there's a lag where it just goes behind in terms of watching videos on YouTube and then half of the time it's perfect and it's smooth and there's no issues. So I don't know if it's a software issue because I did try to update the software or the firmware of the tick pods through the app on the phone. I did it and it's up to the uh, the newest version. Um, so I don't know why there's an issue about 50% of the time when you're trying to listen to a computer. Now I don't have a PC or any other computers to test it out. I have tested out with other MacBooks like my wife has a 13 inch MacBook Pro and my sister has a 15 inch MacBook Pro and um, all of them, same issue. Half of the time there's gonna be lag and there's gonna be times where the audio is not synced in with things on YouTube. Now, if you guys want me to do like a full comprehensive testing of different platforms like Hulu, Netflix, AT&T now with this, I can, but most of the time I'm just on YouTube. So that's why I was able to test it on YouTube real quick. So because of all these things that I mentioned earlier, it's really hard for me to recommend. Like the build quality is cheap. Uh, the app is not very intuitive and the sound overall is not as rich. And then there's the lag when it comes to the computer and that itself is enough to break, you know, be a deal breaker for people. So just keep that in mind. And then when you look at other earbuds, earbuds or Bluetooth earbuds in the market, especially the ones that are on ear, you got the AirPods 2s, like ones without the wireless charging um, case that go for about $159. And these go for either $125 or $139, depending on when you catch it. So that's about a $30 difference. And for $30 more, you're gonna get better sounding headphones with better build quality. We know Apple has very good build quality and you're also not going to have any lag or issues. So that's my recommendation and that's why I can't recommend these to anybody. But anyway, that's my thoughts on the TechPod 2 Pros. I wanted to really like these, but a couple of those things just are deal breakers for me. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know by leaving a comment down below in the comment section. If it's your first time to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.